Parliamentary Amendment Mobile Application, a qualitative approach about e-government. The adoption of innovative technology by the public administration has been increasing in recent years. From this perspective, the Brazilian Minister of Health has developed the Parliamentary Amendment Mobile Application. According to Toise Money and Anderson, studies that analyze the implementation of the government and scars, especially in developing countries. Therefore, the aim of this work is to analyze the implementation of this parliamentary amendment application in the management of public health resources and services. To accomplish our objectives, we use a qualitative multi-method approach to combine the research process of the parliamentary amendment application development and implementation through a triangulation of techniques such as literature review, participant observation, documentary research and focus group, in order to conceptually and empirically further the knowledge related to this phenomenon, we analyze the data used in content analysis to develop and propose a framework of e-government initiatives in the public health sector. To apply the framework to the collected data from the focus group, we define two vectors. Vector 1 corresponds to the statement that reflects the presence of the categories and the variables previously identifying the leader to during the analysis, while Vector 2 groups the analysis categories and new variables observed in this phenomenon. The results sections summarizes the systematic results of the focus group that analysis. In brackets, we indicate the categories followed by the variables identifying the literature. The codes in the parentheses represent the codes from the staff members, namely public employees U1 to S6, who worked on the application development, which revealed four dimensions and 22 variables. In addition, the work presents new variables concerning to the implementation of the application, its use as a management tool, its characterization as a technological innovation, and the possibility of exercising social control over public health services. However, the data presented refer exclusively to the reality of the Brazilian Minister of Health and may not reflect the particularities of the management of other public organizations. Furthermore, we conclude that this study reveals that this is an opportunity to understand the government phenomenon in the context of the public health.